Good morning and welcome to the Crafty Canary for your tip on Tuesday. Today I'm going to answer the question, can you freeze almond milk? And the answer is yes. Now it also kind of depends on what you plan to use it for when you thaw it or when you use it, um, but I will get into that a little bit later. The way I use it is I use some of it still frozen in my smoothie, kind of as an ice cube, and then also I use it when I make my coffee creamer. And I have a video on how I make my own coffee creamer that I will link up at the top of the screen, and you can see um, how I make my coffee creamer with coconut milk and almond milk, but lately I've been freezing the almond milk and then using it in the coffee creamer. Now, the reason I do it, the reason I even started searching can you freeze almond milk is because it's much less expensive to buy it in this big carton, but I'm the only one in my family who really uses it very much. So if I bought this and used it the way I use it, I'm only using a little tiny bit a week and this would go bad. So what I discovered I could do was actually freeze it and then take those ice cubes out that I freeze it in and use them in the way that I use it. So what I do, all you need is your almond milk, of course, and a couple of ice cube trays. If you don't have any of these, you can buy these at the dollar store, at um, the big box stores for rather inexpensive. And then I use a sheet pan or a cookie tray. I'm not gonna do very many this time, so I'm just using a smaller cookie tray. And I put my ice cube trays on the cookie tray and then simply just pour the almond milk into the ice cube tray. I'm gonna shake it up. Now, if this is a full carton, you know, sometimes there's not much air in the top and so you go to shake it and it doesn't really shake. So what I'll do is shake it as best I can when it's full. This one's not full. Pour out a couple of the ice cubes and then put my lid back on and shake it again so that it really does get shaken up because you want it to mix well. So we're gonna fill all of this and then I'm gonna put these ice cube trays on the cookie sheet into the freezer and we'll come back and talk about it some more. So now we have taken them out of the freezer and they're nice and frozen solid. And here's the hard part, actually getting them out of the ice cube trays. So I'm gonna bang them a little bit on the counter and squeeze them out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dump them into the ice cube tray. That'll make it a little easier for me. And then I have a large freezer bag, a gallon size freezer bag and I'm just going to put those inside here and stick them in my freezer. And then I have them to use when I need them. Now, let me give you a little bit of a word of warning. Everything I read says that if you're going to use them just as liquid almond milk, you will want to thaw them and then blend them up in the blender and use them immediately because they will kind of separate and not taste that great. So I don't, I don't really use them as liquid. I'm gonna show you now what I use them for. So the first way I use my frozen almond milk is in my creamer, my coffee creamer. Now I've told you before that I make my own coffee creamer with coconut milk and a little bit of almond milk. And really the only reason I use that little bit of almond milk is because my recipe calls for two cups of milk or cream or whatever I'm using. And my can of coconut milk is 13 and a half ounces. So it doesn't completely come out to that full two cups and like I said it's 13 and a half ounces so I've measured out two and a half ounces which is what I would need to get to 16 ounces which is two cups and measured that out and poured it into my ice cube trays and I figured out it's approximately three ice cubes worth of almond milk so what I do is I take three ice cubes of almond milk and I put them in there with that coconut milk and I just put that into the pot on my stove and make my uh, creamer that way. Now, because I'm heating it up, I'm not bringing it to a boil, but basically getting it to steam and heating it up, I believe that it must really mix much better. And so when I use it that way, I see no taste difference. I see no um, consistency difference at all in when I just make it with the almond milk um, liquid instead of frozen. So that's a great way to use it. And here I'll show you another way. So now for the last way that I'm gonna use 
my almond milk ice cubes. I use them in my smoothies. And quite a while ago, I made a video about how I make my smoothies. So I will link that up at the top so you can see what I put in my smoothies. But I put everything in here except the almond milk. And when I made that old video, I didn't even use almond milk in mine. But now I'm gonna use the almond milk ice cubes. Now I don't have very much frozen stuff in here. I have a little bit of frozen fruit, but my banana is not frozen. And I have the liquid, I have the 100% cranberry juice in here. And so if I were to just go ahead and do this, it wouldn't have very much of that icy consistency, which I really like in smoothies. I like the fact that they're icy. So I'm going to put a couple of my almond milk ice cubes in there. And then when I blend it up, it's going to have that icy consistency like a good smoothie would. Now, it also gives us a little bit of health benefits. If you use the fortified almond milk, you have some minerals and vitamins in there that you wouldn't normally have, even if you just used your homemade almond milk. Um, it's gonna be lower calorie than regular milk, than cow's milk. If you're trying to avoid dairy, it's a great, great way to have that milky um, flavor and smoothness in there without using um, dairy. And it also is fewer calories than dairy. It's less sugar than dairy, so it doesn't elevate your blood sugar. It's not as nutritious if you were to just eat almonds. It loses some of the fiber and the antioxidants when you make it into milk, but it still is healthy and it still will give your uh, smoothie that nice icy consistency. So to sum up, we can freeze almond milk and we can use it in things like creamer and smoothies. If you have ideas that you could use those almond milk ice cubes in, put those down in the comments. They might help us out as well. And again, you can drink it. You can thaw it and smooth it up in the blender, but use it or drink it immediately if you're going to use it as liquid like that. So I hope you have enjoyed this tip today. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and come back next week for another great tip on Tuesday. Thanks again. See you next time.